Hello, I'm Michelle Medeiros. Here are some things that happened in last week's Reporter. Worth residents cannot satisfy their ballpark frank fix in their own backyard. Joe Staduski of Worth rolled out a shiny new stainless steel plated hot dog cart for the first time last Friday. He got the idea when Staduski's brother-in-law was looking to introduce an authentic Chicago-style hot dog in Maui, but lacked the funds to do so. Staduski decided he would give it a shot here at home. Six months and $6,000 later, JJ Hot Dogs is up and running. Named after his son Joey and his daughter Jenna, the cart is a family enterprise offering the signature Vienna beef based in Chicago. For now, Staduski plans to peddle his lunch specials along 111th Street at least six days a week. The home of Laura and Pat Geary at the 9600 block of 50th Court won first place in Oak Lawn Gardens Club's annual Beautiful Yard Contest. The yard behind the ivy-covered house features three Japanese maple trees, perennials and native grasses, and several varieties of flowers. Evergreen Police Department promoted a female sergeant who played a key role in the murder investigation dating back to the 1990s. Wendy Franklin, an eight-year veteran of the department, found evidence that linked Richard Ovester to the brutal slaying of Evergreen Park resident Lorraine Rudinga. Franklin will replace Sergeant Denise Mahoney, who was the department's first female sergeant in 2006. A project to alleviate flooding in one of Worth's most flood-prone districts is underway. The $285,000 project will place new storm drains along three blocks of 114th Place between Harlem and New England Avenue. It will also add new tie-ins to the existing sewer lines in the alley of East Harlem, new sidewalks, street resurfacing, and parkway restoration. Completion is projected for the first week in July, according to Worth Public Works Superintendent. State Representative Kevin Joyce and State Senator Ed Maloney each helped the village secure nearly $150,000 in funding for the project. For further information, please read this week's reporter. This is Michelle Medeiros. Thank you for listening.